This is the solution to quiz one. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, evaluate the following. So in the order of operations, this is a division and this is a division. Those are both divisions. Uh, they're evaluated left to right. So then the, the first line is <clears throat> 36 divided by 30, uh, that would be 12. So 12, and then divide by 2. Well, there's only one operation to do, so that's um, 6. Now, this is the same numbers, 36, 30, and 2, and the same operations, divide and divide, So this is the one we do first on part A. However, because this one is inside of parentheses, because it's inside of parentheses, that is the one we must do first in part B. <coughs> so this is 360 divided by 15. divided by 15, which should be 24. Yeah. <clears throat> so 24. Okay, this one. Okay, well that's uh, 25 plus 6 squared uh, minus 6. So that would be 25 plus 36 minus 6. So 25 plus 30, 55. Part uh, question one. <coughs> Simplify as much as possible. Okay. Well, part A, that's iterated exponents. So that's um, x with exponent negative uh, 4 multiplied by 8. So that's x to negative 32. And then it says with only positive exponents. So, 1 over x to 32. So for part b now, best strategy is to simplify the thing inside of the round parentheses and deal with this cubing later. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move all these factors around until they have positive exponent. So when you move something from numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator, uh, that negates its exponent. So this will be um, a cubed. I'll move these b's down. I'll move this c up. So a cubed c, and I'll move these b's up. So this will be b to 9, and then divide by uh, these b's are going to move down. So b squared, and those a's are still down here. So then let's count to make sure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 things. Okay, good. That cube we'll deal with uh, later. So now we're going to start uh, canceling where possible. So as for the a's, there's three in the numerator and five in the denominator. So when we're done canceling, there'll be two left over, and they will be in the denominator. So I'll 
put a square down here. The C, there's nothing to cancel it, so I'll just leave it. When we cancel the Bs, there's 9 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator, so there'll be 7 left over, and they will be in the numerator. Cubed. So now it's time to distribute the cube. And so this will be C cubed multiplied by B to 7 cubed divided by A squared cubed. So now C cubed is done, and then these are iterated exponents. So this will be C cubed and B to 7 to 3, that's B to 21. Divide by A to 2 to 3, that's A to 6. And that's the answer to part 2. Okay, so write this number in decimal form. Okay. So that means we need to move, this means we need to move the decimal place 23 to the left uh, from, from its current position. So that means that once we move it to here, we're going to start accumulating zeros. So when we move it one position to the left, there's 22 more zeros to go. So we need to count out 22 zeros. Okay. So I'll make them in groups of three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, and then 22 and then 602 <laughs> this is this is not right <laughs> so this is actually an error uh, an error in the math question so in the actual statement of the question Avogadro's number in scientific notation is <laughs> is not <laughs> this but if we were if we were to actually express this number in scientific notation that's the number and then to be clear actually <laughs> actually avogadro's avogadro's number is actually six point oh two times 10 to the 23. <laughs> so notice <laughs> that that negative <laughs> that negative makes this a really small number, <laughs> but Al Avogadro's number is actually a, a really big number. Okay. <laughs> Important. <laughs> So now express this number in scientific notation. Okay. So this number could be written, for example, as 1314.0. Uh, in order for it to be in scientific notation, we need to move it three places to the left so that it would be 1.314. Uh, and then this would be times 10 to 3, because we had to move it three places. Similarly, this one needs to be moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. So that's 5 places. And when you do that, it would be 6.42 times 10 negative 5. And then finally, 
this would be this would be 2.22 multiplied by 1.33 and then this needs to be times 10 to exponent 4 plus 9 So multiplying that out, 2.22 times 1.33, 2.9526 times 10 to 13 is the answer to the question.